Hello guys, my name is Sumit Singh. Welcome to the first video of my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering my five-year journey as a computer science student. So let's first start off with me being at a community college and starting from there. And before we get into that, I just want to say that in high school, I was not, I was the average student. I was not too far up and I was not too far down, right? I was just in the middle, never took any AP, never took any IB courses, never took any honors courses. I was just taking the normal classes, never took physics, just took the bare, just took the bare minimum requirements, graduated and got out. Never really thought about the future, was having a good time. Don't get me wrong, I was a smart kid, not to sound arrogant or anything, but I never really put in the effort and went the extra mile to do all these extra courses. So I always knew that I was going to be going to community college. So let's hop into it. What did I do at community college? So by the way, I spent three years at community college and I went to Cypress Community College based in Southern California. By the way, the first two, three years at community college, you're doing general education. Uh, just how you're going to be doing general eds at if you went to a four-year university as well. They're not going to be automatically waived. Sure, some classes are waived, but you have to take the majority of general eds. So that's why I decided to go, uh, go to community college as well. First semester, so there's going to be six semesters in total. So the first semester is going to be, I took a college algebra course, which is a part of the pre-calculus series. So you have to do two courses, college algebra and trig, before you get into calculus. If you didn't do any high school, equivalent of that. Then my second semester I did trig and I also did like an intro to chem class and that second semester by the way is when COVID happened. This was spring 2020. That's when COVID happened and then for like the next two three semesters was online and then my third semester was calc one. Uh, I finally got into calc series and I thought it was going to be this intimidating subject but however if you have your algebra down you have your calc down. That's that's how I think. Calc 1 wasn't too bad. It was okay. Alongside that, I was taking an intro to programming in C++. So my second year, I rolled around to my major courses, which was like this uh, computer science coursework. And then I took a chemistry class, which was a real chemistry class. It was called General Chemistry 1. I thought I wasn't going to pass. It was honestly tough, but I pulled through somehow. Then my fourth semester, I did Calculus 2. I did physics one, which was the mechanics one. And I did data structures and algorithms in C++. And I did one general ed course. That semester was pretty bad because I didn't take physics in high school. I came into this, you needed Calc 1 as a requirement. I completed that, but I knew nothing about physics. I went into it. I thought it was going to be a breeze, but it was so bad. Like, honestly, I don't know how I pulled through. I thought I was going to fail. I thought I was going to you know, have to retake the class. I got a B in the course somehow. I thought I was going to get a C. I guess the curve benefited me somehow. I don't know how, but that's what happened there. And data structures algorithms is a pretty tough course. Just to throw that out there. It's one of the toughest courses in the computer science coursework. So just be prepared for that. And I'm glad I did this at a community college, right? Instead of spending money and risking because some people fail. This is the most failed class in computer science. And uh, from what I hear, one more semester to go. And this is the semester when we hear back from colleges. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that now. So my top colleges that I wanted to go to were I had, I applied to nine different colleges. I'm not going to name them all because I forgot at this point, but I remember the main ones I wanted to get into. So I applied to UCI, University of California, Irvine. The second one I applied to was Cal State Fullerton. The third one I applied to was Cal State Long Beach. And the fourth one I applied to Cal Poly Pomona. Cal Poly Pomona is pretty solid for their computer science department. I knew it was competitive. When I went into college, I didn't even know computer science was competitive. I didn't even know competition was a thing. Acceptance letters started coming in March, April, hearing back from them. I got my acceptance letter first from Cal, uh, Cal State Fullerton and they said I, I got accepted and they rolled it out in February, which is earlier than the average acceptance rate letters. I was like, okay, cool. I got a spot. I got it. You know, I'm, I should be grateful. Some people don't even get in at all. So, right. And by the way, my GPA was a 3.4 when I applied for transfer. So it was not too bad. I wouldn't think it's too bad. It's okay, right? It's, it's fine. It's average. I was taking tough courses, right? Like physics or whatnot, but I mean, so was everybody else. So I don't blame them. Yeah, I was really looking forward to Cal Poly Pomona, right? They were a really solid school for computer science. And I thought I was gonna have some good opportunities there, but unfortunately I didn't get in. Then I said, okay, maybe because 
the schools closest to me accepted me you know it kind of works like that too so that sometimes it's like local colleges they accept you more so it kind of went based off of that as well then i was looking forward to uci and unfortunately i didn't get there either so that was a bummer right uci was also kind of well known for computer science and then I kind of took the positives. I just said, whatever, forget about the fact that I didn't get into it. Like, I just got to deal with what I have. And I decided to go to Cal State Fullerton and they had concentrations. They had a cybersecurity concentration and I was interested in cybersecurity ever since the beginning of college. Even in high school, I was kind of exploring cybersecurity. I never did any work exploring, meaning I was researching and sort of exploring the different careers, watching YouTube channels, looking at day in the lives and stuff like that. But I never actually knew what they did when it came down to the details. They had a cybersecurity concentration. And again, cybersecurity is a really, really broad field and I didn't know like what to get into or whatnot. And it took some researching and some time to finally figure out what I wanted to do. And that was application security. And it turns out since it's already in the computer science department, which is really coding, programming heavy, and you're combining cybersecurity with it, I thought it was just a sweet spot. Application security just fits right in there. And the courses tailored for it, like cloud computing, security, web security, network and security, it was tailored just for it. And I feel like it would have been a nice fit and it would have made me really marketable uh, getting out of college. The classes that I took before transferring in the spring, I took a Linux course that was an elective, it counted as an elective for Cal State Fullerton. So that was pretty cool. I found that at a community college, which is pretty rare. Then I took discrete math, which was the best class I've taken at community college. It was amazing. I really liked it. I really loved the logic part about it and like dealing with truth tables, dealing with all these methods of proof. And it was tied in to computer science related topics. Like we went into algorithms a little bit and stuff like that recursion it was really interesting thinking about it from a mathematical perspective looking at computer science topics from a mathematical perspective was just really neat in my opinion and i really liked that class and a lot of people struggle with it but i nailed it and i got an a in that class and that was the first a that i got in the math class in college then i took like an intro to programming and see c sharp and we're making gui applications and stuff like that you know just sort of basic stuff uh, this class I was supposed to take the very first time, like before I even took the C++ class, but Cal State Fullerton was requiring it, so I said, I'll just get out of the way. I mean, I th like, it was an easy class since I already had some, like, good understanding uh, from the previous classes. Then I transferred. This is fall 2022. I transferred to uh, Cal State Fullerton. The courses that I took there, it was computer architecture and assembly language. I, by the way, I took two courses at community college and i took three courses at cal state fullerton and yes you could do this and this is a nice tip if you want to do that you can concurrently you can do classes at community college and a cal state at the same time but i'll tell you something later on and you guys have to keep that in mind as well so i took assembly language and computer architecture I did not like that class at all. That was the worst class I have ever taken and it really demotivated me. And I thought, I thought, wow, like it really almost made me switch out of the CS major just because of that class. It was so boring. I did not find it interesting. It was really low level programming. Like I did not, it was tying into hardware and stuff like that. I really didn't like it at all. I don't know. I thought I was going to fail that class. I honestly did, but I got to be in the course again. I don't even know how it happens, but I, I just pulled it off somehow. You know, I just come like with the clutch at the end or whatever. Then I took uh, linear algebra and graph theory that semester. And that class was also amazing. I really loved it. It was, it was awesome. The, the linear algebra aspects and applying it to real life applications. This was not linear algebra in the sense where it's theory based. We're making it more application based. We're talking about like cryptography and how they use linear algebra and cryptography, how they use it in um, customer loyalty models, you know, uh, data prediction models and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. And then the second half of the semester was uh, graph theory, which was also pretty interesting when you're dealing with like nodes and when you tie it into neural networks and stuff like that, that's where that would be useful. And then I took operating systems, which is also one of the tough courses in uh, the computer science coursework. And that course also kind of killed me. It was a lot of memorization. It was a lot of it was a it was a lot of work right and but i pulled through i gotta be in the class 
thought I was gonna get a C. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't think I was gonna fail. Like I wasn't that bad, but <clears throat> I thought I was gonna get a C. But I pulled out and I got a B. Then uh, I took a software engineering class, and by the way, I took two courses at community college. I took assembly language and graph theory at community college, and then the three courses I took at Cal State that semester were operating systems, software engineering, and intro to computer security. Yeah, so the second course at Cal State Fullerton I took was software engineering. And this course, I thought it was gonna be tough. Going into community college for the first time, it's like software engineering course, whoa, right? I mean, going into Cal State Fullerton for, for, for the first time, I can't even speak. But she said, this class is all about you guys. You guys are only gonna be coming into class to collaborate with each other and checking up on your guys' progress. But otherwise, this project's up to you. You guys just make sure you guys have to have it finished. One project, everyone was supposed, everyone in the class was supposed to make a game. It doesn't matter what tools you use, what framework you use, except that you gotta make sure that your group is actually coding the game and not pulling uh, like a click and drag, like scratch type. You gotta actually make the game. So we decided to use Unity. And uh, I don't want to go too deep into that. I'll maybe explain it in a different video. Yeah, we made a game. We basically made like a endless zombie runner game. I'll link it down in this in the description if you guys want to give it a go. It was it was pretty you know chill, laid back semester. Uh, we finished early, so you know we kind of had the rest of the time to focus on our other classes, um, finals, midterms, or whatnot. And then I took a computer security course, intro to computer security, which was pretty straightforward and uh, it was pretty easy. And um, yeah, then I decided you know. I'll just stick with the cybersecurity track, which deals with web application security. You deal with network and security, cloud computing and security. Cloud's a really big thing. I'm really glad these courses are being offered at Cal State Fullerton because security is not that big at other universities. They don't really teach it that well. You know, software engineering, software developers going into the industry, they don't really have security in their mind. They don't, they don't really think about that, right? So I think it's important to have security uh, embedded uh, in compu especially computer science students' heads going forward into these industries that's gonna be dominated with even more cyber criminals. And let me jump back into when I was saying, which courses can you take concurrently with Cal State Fullerton, I mean, a Cal State, a university and a community college? And let me just explain again, I'm gonna go back to when I was saying, you gotta be careful and tread lightly when you are taking classes at a community college and a Cal State or a university at the same time. Because when I transferred, you gotta make sure how many units does the university take from your community college. I had well over 90 units because I spent three years. It was 90 units, 30 units each year. They only took 70 and that was fine because some of the courses that I took, I knew that I was kind of scaling it out. You know, I had some courses for Pomona, I had some courses for Long Beach, I had some courses for Cal State Fullerton. I was scaling it out and making sure that I had the best opportunities if I get into any school. So that's why I had well, well over 90 and I, I was prepared for that, right? And you need 120 units to graduate. So I needed 50 more when I got to Cal State Fullerton. So you gotta make sure if you're taking courses at a community college while you're at Cal State Fullerton or a university, you gotta make sure that you're not taking too many uh, classes at a community college, even if they offer it, even if the equivalent, most of the courses are available at community college. I know like upper division coursework's not, but sometimes that might not be the case. You gotta make sure that you're not, you still have 50 credits at your university or whatever your guys' ratio is. So that's another tip to have. And wrapping it up, would I go back and do things differently? Honestly, no. Because if I went straight into a four-year university, I don't think I could have experimented, right? I couldn't have experimented. I couldn't have explored what careers and what options there are, right? While doing my general education and my, um, you know, my STEM classes and all that. I was more free at a community college before committing to a major. So I had a lot of flexibility and I had time to think three years, it was good. Figured myself out and not having any regrets in the future. I'm never gonna, now I'm never gonna say, oh, what if, what if, what if that, what if this, right? I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm good, right? I'm at peace with my choice and that's what matters, I think. Also, forget about that. Let's talk about the courses. You're gonna be spending more money at a Cal State or a university for that matter. But if you went to community colleges, nowadays they have programs where they pay for your first year. Like I was, I went to, uh, I'm, I was part of the AUHSD district in high school and they 
had a program where if you go to Cypress College, uh, we had like the Charger Experience program and they would pay for your first year and, you know, they would give you sort of, it, it was nice, it was helpful, you know, it was like motivational for students that it would force them to go to college and make sure that, you know, they had good opportunities for them. And the semester based on the recording, which is spring 2023. I decided to switch to a math major. I know it completely came out of nowhere. That's because me coming from discrete math and graph theory and linear algebra and those topics and math that really intrigued me, I thought, let's go into math. Then I went into math this semester, transfer, uh, switched into a math major. I was still minoring in CS since I already completed the coursework for the minor, since I did already quite a bit of coursework. Then I said, no, I miss CS. You know, I can't be letting a couple of classes that I don't like turn me down when you know, there's always going to be classes, even in my math major, there's going to be classes that I didn't like, but I can't let that be the determination of me choosing a major or not. You just got to focus on the positive, it's the positives and push through and what you like. So yeah, like this semester, which is this semester based on the recording, spring 2023, I thought I was going to do data science or machine learning or something like that, since it was more math related. But then I said, you know, I went back into security. Security was just like this thing, just keep gnawing at me and just like, like, you know, I'll just keep getting like pulled there more and more. I was like, you know, what, whatever. I switched back to CS mid semester again. So this semester, you know, I only have like a couple classes uh, that actually count towards the major. So I'm going to have some uh, uh, catch up to do but it's not going to be too bad. I'm going to be doing two classes in the summer and then yeah, and then smooth sailing from there. So this is a cybersecurity concentration within the computer science department. So this is basically just the electives, which dictates whether or not it's going to be a cybersecurity concentration or not. So your electives are going to be cybersecurity based. Um, these electives are within these electives, but however, if you complete three classes within these, then you will get your cybersecurity elective and then you have to take this mandatory course. So the idea is, so these are all, uh, I'll share this in the link below if you guys are into uh, interested in getting in Cal State Fullerton. These are all the courseworks into getting your undergrad in computer science. So this is a lower division, which can be completed at community college. And then you have your upper division. Most of them can be completed here at Cal State Fullerton. And then you have your mathematical requirements. Again, some of them may be offered at community or not. And then you have these, your 12 units, also community college based. And then when it comes down to electives, again, you might have a very slim chance of these being offering at a community college, but you have to take these here at Cal State Fullerton. So the courses that I was thinking about taking is Network Security Fundamentals. So that's going to cover this one. I was going to take Cryptography. I'm going to take Cloud Computing and Security. So let me open these up. So Network Security Fundamentals, Cryptography. I'm going to do cloud computing and security since our world is going to be headed towards a cloud environment. And I will also be doing web security. So I will be doing these three for the cybersecurity coursework. And then you have to choose one elective out of your. And I already did this at the community college, which was the Linux class that I did that I explained before. So another good tip that you guys can go on is assist.org. So this is another website that you guys use. I'm sure if you're at a community college, you can use this website to see which classes articulates based on your community college. So we'll do Fullerton, Cal State Fullerton agreements. And then you can search your major right here. We'll do computer science and then view. And then here's all of the coursework. So this is Cal State Fullerton's equivalent. And then here's if you guys have it. And I see that there's more classes added. That's the elective that I was talking about. And then you have all this general ed stuff and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And you see it only goes up to Calc 2. Just keep that in mind, you know, just keep uh, getting information from Assist and all the other sources. And yeah, you should be good to go. So that was pretty much it for this video. I know I went a little bit overboard here but that was my five-year journey thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one